welcome to the vlog. It's a perfect 72 degrees. Look at that. San Diego blue, boys. Absolutely beautiful. Just had lunch with Jack here downtown. It's 12:59 uh, p.m. So now he's headed over. He wants to shake at uh, the Cold Stone here. So I guess we're gonna do that and then enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. I'm thinking I'm gonna do some mowing today and make it happen. 4:10 p.m. We've been pretty productive this afternoon so far. I've got sprinklers out water in the yard because it is really dry. I cut two yards this afternoon. I did that one there. Look, it's completely brown. I barely took anything off, but I needed to get it done before this week. And I did that one too. That one's not nearly as bad because it's not in the sun as much. But those yards probably and hopefully won't need to be cut until July 2nd. Any minute now we should see a little red Fiat or Ferrari 355 <laughs> coming down the street. We're gonna clean that up tonight, this afternoon, now, soon, because we have shade and it needs to be cleaned. And as usual, watching some videos and we've got that down to six, so that's good news. Listen to that. Friggin' rights. Dinner time, boys. Had dinner, dinner was great, car washed, car's great. Now it is uh, 7.15, let's listen. Eh, even at low RPMs it sounds awesome. So now I'm talking with Taylor about going up to the Apple store to take a look at the new MacBook Pros. He just gave him a call and they're out on display but they're totally out of stock. Which is good because um, I wouldn't be able to, I, I would want to buy one if I went and I saw one, but I won't because I can't, so that's good news. Yeah, so I guess we're going up there in a little bit, and um, if there's not a lot of people around, I will film them maybe. And what's the thing you're not supposed to film in Apple stores? Well, I used to all the time when I would go up there, I, I would film more then than I do now. And I've had Apple employees ask, employees ask me, are you filming? I say, yep. And they say, okay. Nobody ever told me to not film in an Apple store yet. Oh, check it out. We got a little Fiat. Uh, I used to know what the model was. But it's a little, no, it's not. It's an Alpha. I'm sorry. I knew that. The little Alpha. I used to know the name of the model. It's like a one something spider. I don't know. There it is. What do you think, Taylor? I'm in shock by the display, but that's only about a thousand more, or two, or that's 1,900 more. 1,900 more than what mine got. Uh, really nice, really nice. It's, it's light, it's light, it's powerful, it's beautiful. I want one, but I'm not getting one because I don't have any in stock. 1.57 in the morning, been working on a lot of stuff online, got the emails cleared out again, playlists down to six, I'm hoping to uh, almost finish that up tonight. Anyhow, we were up at the Apple Store, looked at the new MacBook Pros, very, very, very impressive, love the form factor, the display is awesome. Uh, the Geekbench was about 1,900 more than mine, which uh, I expected it to be more with 0.4 gigahertz per core across four cores and eight threads. Um, and new architecture from the Ivy Bridge, or from Sandy to Ivy, or whatever mine is. Mine's Sandy or Ivy, and the other one's whatever mine isn't. Um, the RAM, mine's 1333 megahertz, the new ones are 1600, and it had a better graphics card, but they both have a gig of RAM for graphics. Um, so I really like it, it makes mine feel fat. But anyways, when I was up there at the Apple Store, I picked this up. Uh, Kenan has one, got it for him for his birthday. Um, it is this, the Mophie Juice Pack Air, which is a battery case for an iPhone. So I've got that charging up right now. It is not huge, but it adds a little bit of bulk to uh, the actual phone and supposedly it gives it about a full charge. So that'll be really nice to be able to have twice the battery life in a case. And I, I used it today for a couple hours. It doesn't feel in your pocket. You can't really tell. Um, but when you are holding it, it definitely feels 
bulkier, but it's tight. It's a good product. It doesn't creak and flex, and I think I'll like it, so I'll probably do a review on the Tech Channel later. So I got two yards done today, and I watered mine all day. So tomorrow, I'm going to try to get up before noon, water mine. I'm going to be working or cut mine and then water, and I'm going to be working on the car tomorrow for a while. And then I have to do that one across the street over there. Those two are done, so tomorrow should be relatively productive. And I'm going to cut this off here. Talk to you guys, excuse me, tomorrow in, is it 5.50 tomorrow? Or five, tomorrow's 5.50 already. So that'll be Thursday. Good night.